went to work and got to about an hour and a half in, in it and I couldn't breathe like at all. So I knew it was, it was time to go see the doctor. So I came to Melbourne and I got there and they rushed me, <laughs> they rushed me right in. And they're like, you're swollen up, you can't breathe. There's something wrong with you. So they did their normal routine, check vitals and everything. And then they said, yeah, we're gonna bring you in the back of it. <laughs> and then they proceeded to let me know. He got, he got lung cancer. When I was diagnosed and I found out and I, I called my employer and let him know, he basically told me I'm a liability and that I basically no longer have a job there because of this, which proceeded a downhill run on losing my place to live and everything like that. So that became a challenge. June 30th, I was diagnosed. I was very excited to learn that there's a compassionate care fund here. Um, it allows patients who otherwise would not get care because of financial reasons, be able to come in and get care. Looking good, that worked. Let's go on in. Last day, right? And my radiation, which I just completed today, and my chemo, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to complete it. I would, I'd be struggling on a bus. I'd be an hour late, maybe a couple hours late. It's helped me tremendously. And like, I know there's other people that are gonna need this as well. And you guys would like really did help me. So with that, I can't thank you guys enough. And if you guys can help someone else too, that's awesome.